In this video, we'll look at the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. So this question says, salespeople sometimes advertise their products by telephoning strangers. Only about 1.5% of these cold calls result in a sale. Tony makes cold calls eight hours per day for five days. The average time for a cold call is 90 seconds. What is the probability that Tony gets at least 30 new customers for the week? Okay, first let's start by recognizing we're working with a binomial distribution, so we have to identify what's P and what's Q. The probability P of success is 1.5%, so make that a decimal, move it over two spaces, probability of success, 0 0.015. What's the probability of failure? Just one take away that, which is 0. 985. So far, so good. We have the probability of success and the probability of failure. What we need is n. How many calls does he make? It doesn't tell us directly. It says he makes calls eight hours per day for five days. So his number of calls is going to be eight hours a day times five days. And this is going to be his number of hours. And we're going to divide his number of hours by the number of hours per call. That is, we'll get the number of calls by doing number of hours he calls divided by how many hours each call takes. We don't have how many hours each call takes, but we do have the fact that his call time takes 90 seconds. All right, 90 S. Convert 90 seconds to minutes. We just divide by 60. So 90 seconds is one and a half minutes, no surprise there. And then divide that by 60 again, it's 0 0.025 hours. So we can figure out his number of calls by doing number of hours, 40, divided by 0 0.025, the number of hours it takes to make a call. So what's eight times five, 40, divided by 0. 0, 0.025, and we get 1,600 calls. That is, we figured out by taking his hours and divide by the number of hours each call is, we know he makes, on average, 1,600 calls per week. Good. Now we have N, we have P, we have Q. But before we go ahead and use the normal approximation, we have to check to make sure that it's okay. That is, we have a rule that N times P and n times q have to be greater than or equal to 5 in order to use the normal approximation. This and this both have to be greater than 5. Let's check. What's 1600 times 0 0.015? We get 24. Good. Bigger than or equal to 5. We're good. Check n times q. And we already know n times q is going to be bigger because the probability is much, much larger, which means it's going to for sure be bigger than 5. It's humongously bigger. But that doesn't matter. We just checked. Oh, forgot to write down my work, though. I better show that work. And get full marks. 1,600. Even though we knew, we still show that we calculated it. Times 0 0.985. And we get bigger than or equal to 5. Since both of these are bigger than or equal to 5, we know we can use the normal approximation. Okay, but before we use that normal approximation, we need mu. We need the mean. We calculate the mean times by doing n times p, and we already know n times p. We calculated it here. We quickly write our work out again just to show that the average, that is the mean, is 24 for this approximation. Let's put a little line here, I think. What's sigma? What's the standard deviation? It's just going to be the square root of n times p times q. And you'll have these formulae on a test. Don't forget the square root, though. It's a common mistake. What's n? 1600 times p, 0 0.015 times q, 0 0.985. I'm going to put the square root right away. Make sure I don't forget it. What's 1600? times 0 0.015 times 0 0.985, 23.64. And now I'll square root, so I'm going to round. 
So this square root of 23.64, let's round to three decimals, which worked out great, 4.862. All that, just to set up. We have everything we need now to do the normal approximation. Let's go back to the question. What is the probability that Tony gets at least 30 new customers for the week? Okay, we're looking for the probability he gets greater than or equal to 30 customers. So I had to think there for a second because it's at least 30. So he can get exactly 30 or bigger. The first thing we need to do is the continuity correction, is that we're using a normal approximation, which is continuous, to a binomial distribution, which is not continuous. That is, these are items. What are we looking at again? These cold calls. Calls can't have decimals. They're discrete. But we need to approximate. So to include 30, we have to say we actually want to be greater than 29.5. That allows us to include the 30 data. Because if we just did greater than 30, we'd technically be avoiding part of that data. So this is called the continuity correction. It involves adjusting the number you're looking for so you actually include what you're looking for when you do the normal approximation. Now we're going to get the 30 data because we went down a half to include the 30 data. The next thing to do is when we're doing Z scores and we have greater than, we need to do 100% minus the less than version. 100% is just one as a decimal, minus the probability that X is less than 29.5. And now we just use our Z scores that we transform it. This is one minus the probability of X to transform it, take away mu and divide by sigma. So this is 29.5 take away the mean of 24, divide by 4.862. So we want to look up a Z score of, that's 29.5 minus 24, divided by 4.862. And we get, we need two decimals for the Z score, 1.13. We rounded this 1.13, so we should put a rounding dot here. Okay, you're almost there. It's got to look up a Z score of less than 1.13. So 1.1 over to the 3 column, and you get 0 0.8708. So this is 1 minus 0 0.8708. And last move, take it away from 1 minus 0 0.8708, and you get. 0 0.1292 and we've got it therefore the question asks let's go back to the question what is the probability Tony gets at least 30 new customers for the week the probability of 30 new customers is approximately and this is make this a decimal I should say make this a percent by moving the decimal over two spots 12.92%. So this video was an example of how to use the normal approximation on a binomial distribution.